All right, we are in the Goodwill bins right now, and I scored huge, guys. We're gonna go through it a little more when we get home, but like PSVR, there's what is this? Uh, GameCube games. Look at that. I think it's Mario Sunshine on top. There was literally there's a GameCube right there. You can kind of see it right there. Um, somewhere in here, there's literally a Switch right here. Look, a Switch bubble wrapped in the Goodwill bins. I'm not making this up. Best score of my life at least in here because this is insane i don't know how much i get for it. i don't even know if i should go through it if i should just buy everything i grab because i was throwing random stuff in here at one point but best find at goodwill of all time right here we're gonna go through all stuff on a ds light in there that was like completely separate from all this stuff like the bin this stuff was in but like look at that gamecube manual uh, i don't even know we're, like i said we're gonna go through it more in depth when we get home i'll have it laid out and i'll kind of walk through it and we'll go over whatever but this is insane in the goodwill bins easily best find i've ever found in here crazy all right guys so we are back home with literally my best find ever to end off the year right here i have camera angle one we have camera angle two and we're gonna hop right into this so to start off i gotta show the receipt because you know people are gonna say it's fake or whatever but I'm not here to trick y'all. I'm not here to fake anything. I'm just here to show y'all what I find. So if we can go to the camera angle right here, you can see $9 right there. It had 18 pounds of 50 cent electronics. Um, the date is up. Where's the date at? Oh yeah, right there. Look at the date. 12-19-2023 at 11.04 a.m. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the total value for everything up here, I believe. Up here, up here, one of those. You're going to see the value of everything in this lot. And I'm also going to be showing sold comps on the screen over here for each item. All right, so let's go ahead and dig right into this. So right here, we have this clear PS2 controller, clear blue. Really nice shape, looks pretty good. I think that's probably going to be around, you know, 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, let's get some of the big stuff out of the way. I mean, we have this huge PSVR. I think this is the Gen 1 PSVR. And also, like, you know, stuff like this, I did go through and kind of just straighten it up. So it's not like we're digging through it literally from the bins here at the house so if you see like you know rubber bands or anything on some of the stuff or it's kind of just organized a little better i did go through it and put it in this box but yeah this does honestly look a little beat up compared to some of the other stuff in here i don't know if this turns on i don't think it has like the dock that it goes with either but i still feel like it's gonna be pretty good for at least getting a little bit out of like i said i paid nine dollars for everything here so i'm definitely not complaining that i got this and then with that comes this big i don't know some kind of playstation vr gun i really don't know exactly what it goes for or what the hype is about it what you even use it for but i mean it looks pretty cool and it's here i don't even know where you put the bat oh i guess you charge it right there so that kind of makes sense i was wondering if you put like batteries in it but it's kind of cool that i got that i guess i was getting this out of the way too i honestly don't even know why i grabbed this this turok i think it's like a pc game bro i was hyped i, I was like i just gotta get everything i don't really think this is gonna be worth anything but i mean it's cool to have um um, I got it and I can already tell that this is gonna get pretty messy with me just kind of taking stuff and putting it down So, uh, you know, please bear with me on that But you don't probably care about this, but this is just gonna be something I'm gonna sell Maybe I can sell this for nine dollars and technically get everything for free. It's like a little uh, You know Walkman kind of CD thing. I don't know. Is there even a comp for this? We'll, we'll, we'll put it to the side because we are focused on the games here You know, what? let's just get right into it right here. Look at this. Look at this. We have three GameCube games Mario Sunshine cars and Rampage total destruction Sadly, this one is a little beat up. We open it up right here You see it's a disc only and the case is like I don't know punctured or something right there But I think this still does have a little bit of value even disc only, it's probably like, you know, I don't know, 20 to $30. And then cars right here, you know, good shape, complete. This one actually is in really good shape. I'm going to be keeping these GameCube games 100%. I really want to keep everything just because, you know, cool story with all of it. And it's just, I don't know, I got it for so cheap, I might as well. But then we also have Rampage Total Destruction right here. Also complete in really good shape. Uh, it's absolutely insane. Well, with that, I guess we might as well grab these two OEM GameCube controllers. They do appear to be in pretty good shape, a little dusty, but I'll, I'll end up cleaning them up. And, like I said, both OEM, so pretty good pickup there. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of the GameCube cords and stuff, because, I mean, you don't really probably care too much about that. Here they are, but it's just crazy to think that, you know, someone donated everything here for free. You know, just literally donated it for free. And you can probably see in that beginning part and in the thumbnail, but like it was literally bubble wrapped. Like someone bubble wrapped this stuff and donated it. 
I don't know if like, you know, they did it by accident, donated the wrong box. I, I don't know. This is, it's just insane. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. We also have this OEM GameCube memory card right here. Looking pretty nice. I don't think I have any of these, so I'm definitely going to keep this just because I like OEM over anything third party. That's just how I roll with it. But let's hop right into this as well, the actual GameCube system. And guess what, guys? Open this thing up. Boom. There is actually a game inside. So the game inside is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell on the GameCube. I don't think this really has much value either, but I don't have it. So definitely adding that to the collection. And then obviously, like I said, we have the system right here. It's a little beat up, a little discolored on that slot right there. I don't know how that one gets discolored and that one doesn't. But it has all the little bottom pieces and... You can see it is actually the second release of the console, I think, because I think the first release had the two ports. But yeah, all buttons seem to work, you know, open, reset, all that. I mean, other than it being a little dirty, uh, it's in really good shape. I think with a little bit of disinfecting wipes, this will clean up really nice. And then to end off the GameCube part, this really surprised me right here. The actual GameCube manual. Like it's literally insane to find even the system, the controllers or any games in there, but finding the manual, like what? When I saw it, I, I literally kind of like freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, stuffed everything in my bag. When I was in there, bro, I just could not tell anyone because I was like, I got to get out of here. Can't let anyone know. I'll tell them once it's home and, you know, in my room and everything because like it honestly didn't feel real. But yeah, definitely keeping this too because I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, keeping the old paperwork for systems and stuff like that and kind of, you know, looking through, reading through, just kind of checking them out. And let's also just go ahead and get these out of here too. We have these two PlayStation VR, like, I don't know, move controllers, I think is what they're called. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but I do know these have a little bit of value. All right, I think there's a huge stack of random games here too that we can go through. Look at that, look at that. Just a whole bunch of randomness. We have Star Wars Episode One Jedi Power Battles, a random manual, MLB The Show 11, MLB The Show 12, NASCAR 08, MLB The Show 10, dang, this person like MLB The Show, Delta Force Black Hawk Down, NASCAR 14, that... Dose not work. Well, it's really not going to work if it's not in there. And Blazing Angels Squadron of World War II. I actually thought that said we for a second. And as you can see, this one does have the Goodwill sticker on it. And I believe that's because I just found it in a different bin. You know, like all the bins have random stuff. But a majority of it was all found in the same bin like 20 minutes in. It was insane. And just so y'all know, I don't find stuff like this every single day. This is like literally a once in a year kind of thing at the best because like i randomly find you know a system here a system there controllers here games there but finding all of this in one day was insane also i did just check and all of these were in the case except for this one for some reason oh never mind this one for some reason is what i meant because this has call of duty advanced warfare and call of duty ghost on the ps3 no mlb the show 10 but I honestly think <laughs> these two games are better. Also hate me for it, but AW is a top three COD. And when I say that, it's number three, by the way. Also, look down here. We have some random Pokemon cards. Anytime I see these in the Goodwill bins, I'm just going to pick them up because, you know, they're not going to change the weight. I might as well toss them in. And I have a binder. I just throw all the Goodwill cards in. Might do something with eventually, but I don't know. Cool to pick up. Now, here is the other thing I was talking about that was not in the same bin as everything else. This was in a different one. And as you can see... It is stickered with $9.99. And it really surprises me that this didn't sell in the store because I can't imagine, you know, a DS sitting up at the top for $10 with the stylus, with the, you know, dust cover, and it turns on. And I'm pretty sure it works perfectly fine. I mean, look, everything's moving, everything's going off. Uh, it's a little dead right now. But, like, why, why did this not sell in the store? And like I said, the hinges are like really nice too. It's just, I don't know why this didn't sell. But I'm not complaining because I have it now. I'm going to clean it up and this is going to be added to the collection because I don't have this colorway. But yeah, this was also really cool to find, like I said, especially since I didn't find it in the bin with everything else. All right, let's get some of the stuff out of the way that's not as interesting. A whole bunch of random Disney Infinity figures. I don't think these go for much, but I always pick them up because one day I might just, you know, throw a big bundle together. Oh, just kind of like a figure in there actually. But yeah, one day I'll just throw these in a big old bundle and maybe sell them eventually. I don't know. Like I said, they're so cheap, I might as well pick them up. We also ended up getting all of these Skylander portals, Lego Dimensions, Disney Infinity, all these little attachments for the like 
toys to life games which like i said i just kind of pick them up because why not they're going to be so cheap but crazy enough let me put these down and let me show you all this one because on the back right there it says portal of power for xbox one i don't know if you can read it but just trust me and this one right here is actually worth like 20 bucks on ebay i mean i think the comps are going to be over here like i said they can prove that uh maybe a little less i, I think it's around 20 but still crazy for just a portal like this by itself to sell for that much but now that we got through all that we have to go through what's left in the bin, which is this Pokemon coin right here, the holy grail of Pokemon coins. I'm just kidding, I don't know, it's pretty cool. But, you know what we're getting into right here, the Nintendo Switch, literally insane. I don't I don't know why this was donated to Goodwill for free, I don't know. This was literally crazy, I, like I said, I have no explanation for it, I don't know why. Like I said, Joy-Con rails, everything here works perfectly, if I could put it back on. Boom, take that off, works perfectly. And, you know, just so we get this out of the way. Boom, look at that. Turns on, works perfectly. Like, I, I genuinely don't know. I, like I said, if I could give you all an explanation as to why, I would. But I just, I don't know why someone donated this. And also, like I said, this was one of the things that was also in the bubble wrap. So someone obviously packed it up nicely to donate. I, I don't know. But it didn't just come with the Switch system. It also came with literally all the cords you needed. We have the power cord, the HDMI cord, the Switch rails, the dock, the little, I don't know, Joy-Con double controller thing. Literally even has the manual. And also, look how nice the, the Switch dock looks. Like, it's not dirty at all, it's not messed up, it's just, it's just, it's just there. Guys, if I could give you an explanation for why all this was donated, I, I would, but I don't know why. But like I said, I can't complain, because I got it all for $9, insane price. I know I could probably sell this stack of games right here for $9, like, and I don't know, it's just insane. And yeah, guys, I think the only thing I was technically missing from completing all these systems was a DS charger, but you know, that was in a different bin. And the PSVR, I think it has like a dock or some kind of connection thing to connect it to the PS4. But it was probably there. I probably just missed it. Because like I said, I was just grabbing everything, trying to stay low key and get out of there. So like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to test that just because I don't have all the parts with it. But still insane to pick up. And then right here is going to be footage on the screen to show you all if this GameCube works or not. Because I haven't tested it yet. But I showed you all the DS works in here. I showed you all the Switch works insane best find ever don't know if i'll ever top this at goodwill i mean i'm open to it you know if i can find something better or equal i'm definitely down for that but i don't know like i said this just tops everything that i've found so far especially for the price and especially because it was like 20 minutes in people had already been looking around i just guess i found a random bin that people passed up dug to the bottom that's why i always like doing it from the bins i'm digging to the bottom i'm sticking to that one and if i feel like there's something in there i'm just gonna you know commit to it and obviously that worked here and i don't know i'm sure there's gonna be someone out there that says you know this is fake or whatever i tried to show as much as i can to prove that it's real i don't know how i could fake bringing all this into goodwill in the bins showing it to y'all having a receipt it's just one of my best finds ever i gotta show y'all it because it's literally insane and uh yeah oh yeah and i don't know if y'all noticed but the box does have some stuff on it i think we should read it real quick just because it's, it's really important um y'all need to leave a comment on the video because i want to hear what y'all have to say uh follow my instagram at brock's finds just like the youtube no space in the middle though uh post my finds early i posted this right when i got it and uh it, like i said literally insane you get to see finds early um like the video because i don't know and if you don't like it don't like it either but the most important subscribe to the channel because if y'all want to see more funds like this, I'm going to try and show them to y'all. I'm going to show y'all everything that I get. All the cool things that I find. And I'm going to try to upload a little more consistently than I have been. I'm on break right now. I'm going back to school soon. But I do want to kind of get on my ground. But yeah, I do appreciate everyone watching the video. Especially if you made it this far. Like I said, do everything on the box if you want to. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.